Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I got this vase covered in clay. It's a glass vase, um, 10 inches tall. I bought it at Walmart for $3.95. I really like the shape of it, uh, but it was a bit tricky to um, get the little cane slices on. And that's what you're looking at right there. Those are cane slices. I made a cane of a flower. Here's a glow scene. But to be honest, this flashlight's way too small. Uh, I'll try to figure out how to, maybe I'll get another flashlight, a bigger flashlight for this for the next video. This is part one of part two. Um, because as you've seen in the opening video, it's not finished at the bottom. I ran out of cane. But anyhow, to get this started, I basically just cut some sheets of uh, Sculpey Original. I think it was on setting four on the pasta machine which is four from the um, smallest I know some machines are different than others but uh, it's a it's a good idea to get them all cut first before you start putting them on the, on the vase but what I did is I I lined them up to where they're touching at the thickest part of the vase and then pushed it too evenly you know vertically and uh, which will leave you like a cut you have to make at the top and the bottom and of course the last piece that goes on, you have to cut all around it anyway, so it's no big deal. But I thought that was the most efficient way to, to get the uh, get the clay on there. It's pretty easy to do it. For cutting these cane slices, uh, one thing I noticed is if you press straight down on the on the cane with your tissue slicer, you're gonna squish the you're gonna squish it and it's gonna distort it especially if you're making multiple cuts on it. I found that if you uh, drag the blade as you're cutting, it makes it a lot better. There's less distortion and it keeps your cane from squishing. I just did one row at a time, but I found that uh, once you get to the end of the row, you might have a gap that's a little too small for a cane. So what I did is I just basically took off a few and space them out a little bit to make up for that you know that little gap but being the shape of this vase is awkward uh, I recommend that you cut your slices a little thicker than what I did I was trying to make it go a long ways and it didn't work so but what happened is is when I used my uh, polymer clay roller to you know press them down you know and make them squish together uh, I wound up getting these little white patches in between where all the, um, not many of them, just uh, just just a few, but where the uh, slices come together, they'd be like white mosaic looking patches. So if it was a little bit thicker, they would have reached all the way together. Um, this was a learning experience. I now I know that you know if you're gonna go into a project like this and it's kind of big, just to make a make a great big old cane that way when you cut it uh, you cut all your slices and everything you know you're gonna have the whole project but I'm actually glad that I ran out uh, because I get to do something different at the bottom and what I want to do since I didn't re you know I don't have the film for how I made this flower cane because it's cr you know crap I didn't want to upload that what I'm gonna do is on part two I'm gonna make a grass blade like a bright green vibrant um, grass blade cane and I'll show you how I make it and everything and I'm gonna put some chocolate clay down at the very bottom of this for like soil and I'm gonna put grass blades to cover up the white so it's gonna look really really neat um, and I'll have that in part two for you but it's so far this is turning out to be really really nice uh, it glows in the dark and it's really vibrant and the, the um the canes, the slices actually are quite sharp looking. And I think it's because of the way I, I rolled this, you know, comp what I'm doing right now. It distorted the images quite a bit, but I kind of like that too. Because they're all different, they're all unique flowers and everything. But I, uh, I included some photos at, at the end here of the original flower cane. Um, once again, I apologize. The, the videos that I recorded were horrible. And here's the photos of the 
the cane making process. But I really appreciate you for checking this out. Uh, it won't be long and part two will be here. Um, just stay tuned and thank you for watching.